So, Dre, how much are you a believer in the Vegas line? Um, well, I, if could you actually help me out? What is the the Vegas line? Sorry, guys. Oh, I'm any there. Vegas line. Just how much yeah. of a believer are They're you in, of... in the Vegas approach to? Okay, do, I see do you saying. trust the Vegas line in well, general? Well, I, I gotta be honest. I mean, historically, uh, the Vegas line is pretty close. Um, so it, it's it's kind of hard to you know bet against it. Um, but then again, you also have to be able to. I don't know, utilize, trust your eyes and also trust, you know, statistics as well, you know, and um, case in point, you know, the, the Nebraska Michigan game, I mean, the, if I'm not mistaken, the Vegas line was pretty close in that one too. And I didn't believe it was going to be a close game. Um, what was it? Greg is his name. Greg mm -hmm. thought that it was going to be a close game. He thought Nebraska was going to win, but um, I don't know. I just thought, I think at the end of the day, you use it as a guideline to create some kind of expectation of how the game can turn out. But I think in terms of your final pick of what team is going to win, I think you need to lean more on, you know, things that are a little bit more concrete, you know, like eye tests and uh, team statistics and stuff like that. Which is what Vegas should be using when they determine their line. <laughs> yeah. To a certain extent. Which is why they're, they're a good guideline, you know, which is why they're a good guideline. So, and I'm not uh, backing the Vegas line or not. I just find it interesting. When you entered the conversation, I was sizing this situation up for Des is that you would think, okay, we're in the Big Ten. They've played seven games within the conference, uh, especially in, in the same division, you've seen like opponents. So the schedules are fairly the same. And so these nine and one records out of Michigan, Michigan state and Ohio state are pretty kept credible and comparable at this point, Maryland's two and five in the big 10. They've pretty much proven to be one of the worst teams in the big 10, or they may be. I, yeah. I think yeah. Rutgers, Maryland, Northwestern, Lower echelon. The Illinois. Bank. Shoot, Illinois. He's beating Penn State, Minnesota, and Nebraska. Who knows? They might be <laughs> inched up from there. So right. anyway, so Maryland's in that bottom three to four. Okay, Indiana. Um, Michigan, you would think that there would be some huge separation between Michigan and Maryland. Michigan's a 14-point favorite over Maryland. Mm -hmm. Ohio State is a 19-point favorite against Michigan State. Wow. Who's close to a top five team in the country. Yeah. You know, I, so, but I understand both of those lines because even though I believe that I think the easy thing for the Ohio state and uh, MSU game is to say, Oh man, Michigan state's being disrespected. You know, they're a top, top uh, seven play, you know, playoff team right now. Um, but I think that Michigan state's biggest weakness is something that Ohio state will, has and will exploit. And I just don't see a way around it. Um, you know, Ohio State's strength to me is their passing game and your elite receivers you have on the outside. Well, MSU's biggest weakness is their secondary. That is a match made in nightmare, not in heaven or hell <laughs> for MSU. Um, and, you know, Ryan Day being the offensive genius he is, he will find a way to exploit that. Um, and, and I don't see... Uh, I saw the Panashuk, uh, enough playmakers in the front seven for MSU to make CJ uncomfortable. So, no, I I, I do believe that Ohio uh, MSU is going to have a hard time keeping up with Ohio State. It may be close of, uh, at first. Um, maybe MSU brings some high energy and they're able to, you know, kind of hang around in the first quarter. Uh, but I can see it, you know, being a, a two touchdown, maybe a field goal type of game, a uh, lead. You know, I, I can see that for Ohio State. And when it comes to the Michigan Nebraska line, that's about normal because. Especially this time of the year, typically when Harbaugh knows he's better than an opponent, he doesn't try. He doesn't really run the score up on him very much. So it's more or less about let's be safe, you know, let's run the football, you know, and let's get out of here, right? So I, I can definitely Maryland. They probably could put up more for, more than fourteen points lead on Maryland, uh, but most likely he'll probably take his foot off the throttle, and I could see them you know, taking starters out in the fourth quarter based on how the game is going and just get ready for Ohio State. So I think both both lines. Uh, makes sense in a way.